Welcome to this guided meditation on mindfulness of emotions. Please be sure to read your meditation handbook for a more detailed explanation around the purpose and placement of this meditation in the series. So I welcome you to arrange yourself in a comfortable and upright posture. Take a moment to adjust so that you find balance forward and back and side to side. You can let your hands rest in your lap. And if it's comfortable, you can lower your gaze or close your eyes, whichever you prefer. And just scan through the body looking for areas of tension or tightness, stress, and welcome those areas to soften and relax. Bring a gentle lift from the base of the spine up through the spine, through the back of the neck, lifting gently and up through the top of the head. Draw your shoulders back slightly to open up the chest and then release soften, allow your shoulders to drop. Let your belly hang forward, soften and release through your abdominal area. Welcome the muscles around your eyes and through your jaw, around your lips, through the throat and neck to become soft, relaxed, We can settle in further with a few full deep breaths. So breathe in through your nose, fill your abdominal area, and up through your ribs to the top of the throat. And exhale through the nose, long and gentle exhalation. At your own pace, take another full breath in, in through the nose. And again, do the long exhalation as you're exhaling. Soften and release further. And trust the weight of your body into the seat below. Allow your breathing to resume its natural rise and fall. Sometimes the breath will be short, sometimes long, sometimes shallow, and sometimes deep. Whatever shape your breath takes, allow it to be as is. There may be sounds in the place where you are, and you can take note of those sounds, allowing them to draw your attention. And then you can bring your attention back to your body, your breath. Now for the purposes of this meditation practice, we will be remembering something that may have happened in the recent past that brought up an emotional response for us. And then we'll be working with that emotion. Normally, we don't try to force emotions into a meditation. They usually come up on their own but so that we can learn how to practice with emotions 
for this meditation, we will intentionally elicit an emotion by remembering something, something that caused us to feel something strong. So take a moment to remember something between you and another person or a situation that caused you to have an emotion. Please don't pick something that was traumatic or deeply distressing or upsetting. It's good to practice with something manageable and small in the beginning. Try to remember in detail what was said or what was happening. And it could be something positive, something that made you excited or joyful. Or it could be a situation that you experienced in a negative way that maybe drew up some irritation or frustration, resentment, or even anger. And as you begin to remember this moment, use a quiet mental label or note to identify the emotion that seems to be arising. You don't have to get it exactly right, but maybe it's a feeling of resentment. And note it twice, resentment, resentment, or excitement, excitement. whatever it is for you. In recognizing that an emotion has now arisen in us, we then turn to accepting that this is here. This emotion is here and it is now the object of our meditation practice. Often we reject or suppress emotions, but in this meditation we are allowing, accepting that an emotion is now present in us. And with that same investigatory curiosity that we brought to the raisin and to movements and sensations in the body, now we bring to this emotion. So dive a little deeper into remembering the scene between you and the other person or whatever it was that happened. And as you remember this, begin to notice what happens in your body. Where do you begin to feel this emotion? Perhaps it's in the stomach or in the shoulders, the hands, the heart, the throat, or cheeks or ears. Notice each sensation as it is expressed from the emotion. 
And again, we're not trying to soften or dissolve or put it away. We're actually really curious about, oh, what does this emotion feel like in the body? You might need to scan through your body to discover sensations you might not think to look for. Also notice whether this emotion might have other attendant emotions that are feeding into it or layered underneath. So for example, with anger, there can be other qualities of woundedness or embarrassment, frustration, injustice, shame, so are there other emotions that are kind of around this major one? And then how are those feeling in the body? If at any point the emotion becomes too much, if it feels overwhelming or painful to the point where you can't endure it, you can always come back to your breath, a full long breath in and out is a refuge and a place that you can go to reset. in continuing to understand and see this emotion, notice as well what kinds of thoughts tend to arise as this emotion surfaces. There may be thoughts about worthiness or acceptability. There might be fear or worry, thoughts of, I shouldn't have this emotion, or I'm overreacting, or I'm a bad person to feel this. I should shove this away, I should forgive the person. Or you might also be telling yourself a story about the emotion. Just hear those stories hear those thoughts, those are also welcome as part of this exploration. And sometimes a memory related to childhood or a previous time in our life might arise that helps us to understand that our emotional response may have other sources. We don't have to look for that. We don't have to manufacture that in any way. But often that will appear and can provide some insight. And the last step 
in working with emotions in a formal way is to see how an adjustment to language can reframe the size and the position of this emotion. So we typically say, I am angry, or I am upset, or I am overwhelmed. Change the sentence around so that it, rever- it takes out the I. Something like, anger is present in me. Anger is arising. Fear is present in me. Or fear is arising. This non-identification with an emotion allows us to hold it as an object of investigation while remaining in our true, wise, compassionate self rather than becoming identified and overwhelmed with that emotion. And if the emotion seems to have dissolved or faded in some way, notice the space left behind. What is the quality of the emotional space when resentment has faded or anger has left us? What does that feel like in the body? What does that feel like in our heart? And to close the meditation, take a full and deep breath in As you exhale, open your eyes or lift your gaze. And I welcome you, if you are comfortable with it, to bring your palms together before your heart and bow to close the meditation.